In this video, we're going to look at how to send an email from within your application. And this is an example of the finished app that we're going to create. So we're just going to have an area for a text message and then a send button. And what we'll do is configure it so that it will take your email address that you wanted to direct this information to and set it up in the to area. We'll also be able to specify a subject so that when you get this in your email, you'll know right away that this is coming from your app. So how this is going to work is you'll type in a message and we can send messages from within your emulator, but you do need to make sure that you have uh, your email account configured through your emulator. So I'm going to tap send and what that's going to do is it's populating the email. So it puts in the email address, and as I said, we can put in a subject, so we can pre-create a subject, and then it grabbed the information from our message area and put it into the email's message area. So while Android doesn't provide an API for us to send email like it did for text messaging, we can initiate an email through your app but then it's going to take you into the email program and then the email application has to be the one to actually send the email for you. So this is what we're going to set up in this app. So to create this application, what I've done is to create a new project and I named it Send Email. Now you might be tempted to just call it email but what you might run into or what you'll run into by doing that is that you can't have two apps on your phone with the same app name. So if I open up my emulator, you'll see that there's already an email application. So if I called my app email, then I won't be able to have both at the same time. So that's why I called mine send email as opposed to email. But this example would demonstrate something that you might implement into your app as a way of allowing the user to send you some feedback about your app. So as we saw in the, the demonstration, this is not actually sending the email, but it's going to initiate the email application and then allow the user to continue sending it from there. So I've just set up some uh, instruction information, a text edit, right? The text edit that was added in here was a multi-line text. And then we have the send button. So the way the properties are configured for this is the properties for the message. I just have a hint in here for your message. And its ID is msgtxt. And we can see that the type is multi-line. And then the send button, its ID is send BTN. And I've also done a little bit of pre-setup in my main Java file. So I've set up uh, my button, called it send email, and I set up the edit text to be MSG. And then in here we are making a reference to our send button, and then we are assigning an on-click listener to it. And then with our on-click listener, what we're doing is we're getting a reference to the text message area, and then we're assigning that text message information to a string called message. And so that's the setup so far. So what I'm gonna do is, on the on-click, while we're getting this information, the next thing I'm gonna do is to create a method called send email. And what I'm going to pass into that method is the message. So it's giving me the error here that I need to create the method. So I'm going to create the method. And it sets it up to pass in the string message for us. So I can get rid of this stub. Okay, and in here what I'm going to do are create a couple of strings one string to contain the email address that I want it to populate into the text field for two, and also one for a subject. So we saw in the example that these were pre-filled in when the user clicked continue. 
So this information is what's going to be pre-populated into the email application when it opens. So right now we're just setting up the strings. Now this string is set up as an array because we could have more than one email in here. So right now we have an array of one element, but we could add multiple email addresses. The next thing we're going to do is create an intent. We want a new intent, and I'm just calling this email intent. Its action is send. And we use action send when we're going to be sending data to somebody. And to prepare that information to be sent, we're going to be using put extra. So we're using our intent, put extra, and then we have these various different intents. So extra email, this is the email address of where this will go to. So it's going to take our to string and replace it in here. Same thing with subject. We have a subject, extra subject, and so we're going to put in our subject information there. Now you could just as easily put double quotes around this and type in your subject name, but a lot of times it's easier to define it someplace else and just refer to these variable names. And then our extra text is referring to the text message from our edit text area. And then our email intent set type message RFC 822. And this is specified as RFC type for message so that only email applications are shown in the chooser. So this is a request for comments type 822 which specifies the protocol for email messages. And then the last thing we do is we start the activity with our intent and we tell it to create a chooser for our email intent and the type is email. So that's going to look for any applications that are capable of sending email, which would be a valid email application. So once this is saved and you test it in your emulator, as I said, if you have an email account already set up, then it will work in your emulator. And then you type in your message and then send and it pre-populates the email application with the two and your subject and your message. And then the, from here, the user has the option of sending it, saving it, or canceling it completely. So that's the basic way of initializing an email from within your application.